Hey gamers, how is it going? Hope you're all having a good evening. Um, it is this fine Sunday, March, whatever it is, 24th, and uh, we're going to play some Death and Taxes to everybody's surprise. Um, no changes to the list from the previous couple of streams. Not, just haven't really been inspired to try anything else. Um, I might, might have something a little fun to try out next next stream but we will see i don't want to commit to it yet but um but yeah we're gonna get we're gonna get right into it we we're pretty close to a trophy last week we'll see if we can uh see if we can repeat that performance a little bit better this time around we'll just have to see Look, trial. If I tweeted about it, I'm not late. I got on. I, I, my face was visible as soon as the timer hit zero. Yeah, but that's your problem. interesting hand. Uh, I don't love that we have to get a scrub land with this, but I think we still keep it. We could choose to get a basic planes, honestly, and just wait on the Bowmasters. It'll depend on what they're playing. Tropical Island. That doesn't tell us a whole lot. If we draw into the land, I'll think about Wastelanding. Interesting. No, let's just play. Let's just play a mom. Hey, hi, Star. How's it going? Green mana cycling a lore revealed. I had a feeling that's what that trop was going to do, which is part of why I didn't want to wasteland. And I also figured it was going to get an underground sea, which is why I didn't really want to wasteland. Because if this is bug beans, I don't want to be the one getting wastelanded. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, our mom lived, so that's kind of nice. I'm probably getting a surveil land off of this um, because I really want to make sure I hit my land drops. Ponder, okay. They do not shuffle. Stifle bug beans, okay, I guess. Okay, we have a planes. I literally almost... Oh, actually, no, okay. That, so I actually chose to play the Scrubland over fetching in case that it was a Stifle deck. A little annoying that I then ended up getting Stifled anyway, but I don't think there was any point where we could have fetched... Um, and they wouldn't have had a blue mana up, so. Just upset we got wastelanded and stifled by a, uh, ostensibly, not, not necessarily, but like vaguely a control deck, you know. All right, Thali is alive. I'm wondering if they are about to double Bowmaster. No, it looks like they are casting a Merktide Regent. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit afraid of that. But 
let's see what happens. Um, I'm guessing they're going to have a force of will for this, but uh, make them have it. Yeah. Force pitches a brainstorm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next turn we can wisp it, at least. No, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> oh, and then it's casting a second one. No, not quite. Although they might be brainstorming into a second one. Hey, Naderino, thank you so much for the subscription. How's it going? Oh, the, pri the Prime sub, specifically. Yeah, that sure is another Merc Tide. At least if we draw a white source, we can... They won't have the mana to force through the Thalia, so we can at least Wisp the big Merc Tide and then Fog the other one for a little bit. But we are definitely running out of time. Yeah, you know what? Sure. This matchup's so annoying. Uh, all right, I'm gonna bring in Cabal Therapies, the Gaddic Teagues, all of these. That looks about right. Cut the Thalia, the Gta. Um, trim a Skyclave. I think I usually go down to one Skyclave lately. Um, maybe better to have a Skyclave over a Mom. It's tough, because, like, Mom isn't very good against... Uh, Mom is, like, okay, but they have Edicts. And a late... Like, a Mom that you top deck is pretty easily going to get bow mastered and on top of that they have pernicious deed skyclave on the other hand basically only hits uh up the beanstalk and we do need a density of answers to beanstalk but it's pretty annoying every time you draw skyclave and they're just like have a big creature in play that, that you can't deal with Interesting. I'm gonna try this. Thoughtseize into Stoneforge is pretty is a pretty decent curve, honestly. Plus we can where our mana is very stable, we can we can cast any spell that we draw, so Golgari charm. That's not a very good card here. Um, I think I am just going to take the Fatal Push because that is the answer to Stoneforge they have in their hands. And the other cards don't really do anything. And the only one, the only other one to really consider is Brainstorm. Uh, that's the Polluted Delta Aether Vial. Uh, definitely casting the Stoneforge first. I have a feeling they'll brainstorm, but I guess it helps that like they have to has to be either days or force and a blue card. So they could also find an answer, obviously, but Yeah, therapy is a blast. Um I am just gonna make them have it. Damn, they have it. It's really messed up. Uh, I do like having an answer to the first beanstalk. Um, I'll go ahead and put an Aether Vial into play. This deals in, this stores an enchantment. Yeah, so that doesn't... Yeah, that's basically not going to do anything. Yeah, if only we could get formal wear, right? Society where we could, <laughs> where we could fetch... 
uh, pre-war formal wear. Nope, no more lands. I am all good, thank you. All right, another one. Um, I'll put Yorian in my hands and pass. Um, so they could have put one of these back, right? Okay, they now have, they definitely have these four cards plus two others. Their hand being very reactive is certainly fine by me, so. Oh my god, deck. Okay. All right. Here's Underground Sea. Um, since I know they have the Wasteland, I'm going to hide the Caracas as long as I can. Oh my god, I actually meant to fetch there, so that was a that was a mistake. Or actually, no, I think I'm actually supposed to keep this fetch around for a Savannah at first. But now I'm going to fetch and use this as my Savannah fetch. They don't shuffle off of Ponder. But they do shuffle now. There's the wasteland. Man, what do they have going on over there? So now I will fetch. My scrub lands. Okay, we finally have a spell that we can cast. That is annoying. They mill Stoneforge, Wasteland, Recruiter. Okay, and then what do they get back? They get a Polluted Delta. That seems worse than getting a Wasteland. Although I guess they're probably going to get, oh, well that's nice. Um, I was thinking they might be getting a, um, a, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? A mystic sanctuary. Um, I guess it'll be a little bit annoying if I just like play this rest in peace and then the sanctuary wither bloom to the, to the top, but not much to do about that here. I don't think. Fallout cards next week, if only. Yeah, they do have two, they have two different possible answers to this rest in peace, unfortunately, but I think I'm pretty happy to just get rid of all the spells in their yards that they still don't have, um, still can't cast a Merktide, and it'll be a little while before they can fill it again. Yep, there's the Sanctuary. They put Brainstorm on top. Okay. I guess that makes sense since they have the Golgari Charm is the answer too. Hello. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I always stream on Sundays, so. There's a Brainstorm. Green, blue, there's a beanstalk.
yep. Let me know how they, they mow themselves. Oh, no, they drained. That's what it was. They drained. Got it. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. So holding up a Bowmasters here. Well, that's nice. They still have... They, they just cast a Wither Bloom. Okay, that was the second Wither Bloom. So they still have the Golgari Charm in their hands. Um, or I guess it's possible that they... Um, it is totally possible that they uh, brainstorms one or both of these away. But given they're holding up Bowmasters, I'm pretty sure they have one in their hand right now. Okay. And then if I cast this Lauren, it's just going to get bow mastered, but I think that is important to get the beanstalk out of here. Especially because the longer I wait, the more likely they have a force for this anyway. Yeah, force pitches a Merc Tide. If they're gonna pitch any card to Merc to force a will, that's what I want it to be. So, yeah, I literally it's just every every league, every league I play Bug Beans. <laughs> it just never stops. Well, that would have been nice to be able to cast before before I cast my rest in peace. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm... Yeah, I think at this point I'm supposed to just play out the Caracas. Scarab Storm definitely also not looking great into this potential Gogari charm in their hands, but is this a five five Merc Tide? What is this? No, this is a this is a lore interview. That's what it is. Are they out? No, they've have I think they have like two more fetchable lands, if I had to guess. I'm guessing like one more trop and then maybe a bayou, something like that. I don't think I'm really getting any value out of this Yorion anymore, so I'm just going to cast it. I, I th think I'm probably supposed to more or less cast a spell anytime they can't hard cast Force at Will. Um, that does get the Wasteland on the Caracas, which is nice since I just drew the second one, so... I will consider that a win. Uh, oh, right, because I can also just play this. There we go. Definitely supposed to wait until my end step <laughs> for them to do that, but... Yes, there's... Oh, another Underground Sea. Okay. So they have three lands. I have two. We'll see. Is that the second wasteland? No, it's the first. Okay. Shieldred's Edict. I will bounce my Yorion. Stifle. Okay. You got it. And here's a Murktide. Don't have another Force of Will, although we're over halfway through your deck, so that feels like I'm probably asking too much. <laughs> You can have Force of Will, just let me have like a Sword Splashers. Stoneforge. 
One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Definitely got to just do this now. Yeah. Force pitcher brainstorm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm not I think whatever we're doing to live doing to get through this game probably involves having a batter skull they bowmaster me here I assume yeah have to lose to a bowmaster because or I have to let the stoneforge die to bowmaster because if they have bowmaster I'm dead if I don't block so yep I go to two I have to go to one here make one two three yeah I make uh, I guess we'll see if they still have the Golgari charm they could have brainstormed it away forever ago we'll just have to see if that's what they did and if they didn't then we're dead Nope, okay. Yeah, everything, most of the things that could have gone wrong in that match did go wrong, so, oh well. They had the force on our one beanstalk, uh, our one beanstalk answer, and then couldn't really come back from there. Our draws were not very kind either. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the Golgari charm is for, honestly. Um, like, especially in a deck that itself plays Bowmasters, like, what are you... Like, what is what is your... What's the card you're thinking about when you're putting charm in your deck, right? I would love to play first. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that it did all of those things. That's wild. And that card's legal? You can, like, they didn't ban that yet? Yeah, but that's what that's what Witherbloom Command already does, right? And with with blue, with Witherbloom Command, you can kill one of their bowmasters and one of their beans, and not touch any of your stuff. Grief pitches troll a cause of doom. Okay. That's how it's going to be, huh? Oh, 
Oh, that's true. That is true. If you get to regenerate your Bowmasters, it's pretty broken. Okay. Our mom is going to get into play, potentially. A Gite, huh? Yeah, sure. I'll cast it. Better than getting it griefed. Yeah, I remember those charm days. Oh, so true. So true. Did they get? They did get a basic swamp. Okay. Okay. All right, well, this hand was a lot better against them if my Stoneforge got to untap and, or if I got to put Stoneforge into play and get a Lion Sash, but I did not. So we'll see where things go from here. Um, I guess in the meantime, I will go ahead and put Jite on my Mother of Runes and wish that I could block Troll, but that would just be too good. The worst part is, like, I can't even attack with this mom into a Bowmaster's deck. I just have to wait until I draw something else. Hmm. Okay. I don't th I think they forgot how to make black creatures that are blockable. I don't know why they forgot, but they clearly did. <laughs> okay. All right. Because there's <laughs> because there is no happiness in my world right now, Parker, that's why. Drawing stone cold nothing turn after turn. It's not how this usually goes, but like it, it sure is happening right now. Look, trust me, Parker. I'm 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 trying. <laughs> you have no idea how badly I would like to do that. Well, I unfortunately kept this vial on three in case I drew recruiter and needed to go like double three drop. But I guess that maybe would have maybe was wrong because I, if I drew a recruiter, I'm probably just I can probably just get scarab swarm. It basically just leaves us in a spot where like if they if they're about to have another animate, that it won't matter anyway. No, whale of forgotten. Okay. Um, basically, this puts us in a spot where, like, if we don't draw at, if we draw air again, then we would really rather this vial be on five so that we could put Yorian in our hand and put it right, put it away. Uh, we didn't buy Yorian because I didn't. They have a grief in their yard already that, like, um, like I don't see myself using this mana anyway until the turn that the vial's on five. So I just want to keep it safe from other discard spells.
All right, chat. Do we die to the Bowmasters that's in their hand? I think we got to just make them have it, right? Eh, maybe not. No, because I guess if we, if we guarantee that this trade happens, then, like, if Bowmasters and Brazen Borrower are the way that they're getting another creature into play, then Yorion can kind of deal with all of those by itself, so... Okay, deck. I don't need more equipment. <laughs> or at least if you're going to give me an equipment, give me Lion Sash, right? I would love to violin Batter Skull, if only. No. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They don't have removal in their deck game one but I would much rather be able to cast this batter skull literally ever Annoying that I now am not able to attack, whereas uh, I would, sure would love to attack if I had that Caracas in play still. Yeah, Bowmaster me. I guess if they have two Bowmasters, I'm dead, right? And even just the one Bowmasters requires me to draw a card I can cast to put in front of something right now. And now I don't even get to surveil for it. Come on, video game. Yeah, okay. All right, let's bring in all of these cards. Let's cut the Thalias, cut the Gite, cut some Skyclaves, cut the Lauren, and then what's the last cut usually? What am I missing? Um. One of these is supposed to be out of my deck. What is it? I literally don't remember. <sighs> Give me a second. I might just be cutting the last Skyclave. That he's losing his whoa, 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 okay, there we go. Yeah, let's try that. Nope. I can live with this. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Hope you have a good night, too.
Um, I'm going to put... What am I bottoming here? I'm keeping the vial. I might put the battle on the bottom. I don't really... Once I have the ley line in play, I'm not sure that we need the battle. And I think I would rather have... Although if I put if I get rid of recruiter, then I don't have to worry about my recruiter getting reanimated against this ley line, which might be real. Because if I put the battle on the bottom and then they recruit for a void walker and just start hitting me with it, this hand doesn't deal with that super well. And I don't think I want to put the vial on the bottom here. It's a possibility, but I don't think we want to. This is a really tricky one. I'm going to try putting the vial on the bottom. Opponent's at least also mulling to six, so... And I would love to take my pregame action. All right, vile resolves. Feeling good. Feeling good. Grief pitches reanimate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't think I'm gonna cast the bowmaster next turn, even if, even if we could. So, I'll just get a second vial in play. Yeah, cool. All right, that works. Surveilling, yep. They keep it on top. Yeah, gross. I don't like that at all. I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. If they try to bowmaster the sash, then I can just fetch with my Vista. Yeah, cool. Um... I think this is basically the same situation. I can also use my bow. I can use my bow masters to keep Sash from dying to another bow masters if needed. So if I just vial and bowmasters, it means they have to cast their bowmasters right now to kill mine. I think that's fine. Yeah.
Um... Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't really want to cast that, so... Because my vials are going to kind of carry me through these top decks when I don't have the mana to cast stuff. It's a lot of Bowmasters. I assume they're going to attack me for three. They sure are. Um, what am I putting these vials at now that I'm down on one land? Um, I'm not really necessarily digging for anything right now because their bowmasters can't attack into my sash. Um, I think staying on. I think actually staying on two and three is right for now. Interesting. I don't. I think I'm not supposed to use that. Um, and what does this race look like? This race, I would go to 16, and I would be attacking them for four. We're basically going four back and forth. Um, I think it's a lot easier for them to make that bad for me, so I'm just going to not get into that race, because with this ley line in play, my top... With this ley line in play and this sash in play, my top deck should, on average, be better. Especially with the vials also in play. No. I mean, they still have to deal with the sash. Obviously, it could could be worse, but I would prefer if they didn't. You know. Um. Yeah, I'm getting a planes here. I will eat my uh, Containment Priest. Um, I think... No, I'll stay on 2 and 3 one more time. Okay, that'll change things. We will still pass, um, but now I can more safely go up to 3 and 5. So surveil here. What's up? Oh, dismember. Huh. Well, that's a messed up way for them to get to kill my sash. I did not expect that. Maybe I should have. Okay, well, now I need the surveil to put in some work. What do you got for me? Arid Mesa. I'm good. Okay, now we go up to three and four. Deck. No. Um... I can safely put Yorn in my hand because they're on zero cards, so I don't have to worry about a hard cast grief or a reanimated grief, so that'll let me use my vial on five to Yorion and also potentially cast like a three drop. that on three, go up to five. I 
cannot cast a ley line here, unfortunately. Annoying, but honestly, I can totally live with that. Give me a card that breaks parity, please. Not really. I guess kind of. Um, but I'd have to use it on this army token, which feels horrible. Um, so I think I'm still holding. Interesting. Four, eight, twelve to do, 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 do. So, if I start swinging here, I'm winning that race by a turn, right? Ten, ten, seven, six, five, one, three. They're dead. So, I guess I'm winning it by two turns right now, actually. Um, that's probably good enough to. Start getting in there. If I have to cast the swords, it starts looking a little bad, though, but we'll see. Okay, it, it doesn't necessarily look bad, it just means the math is going to change. Um, I specifically did not cast a ley line there by the way because I don't really want to get to a situation where like they draw land hard cast a grief and then get to daze my swords because I tapped out for the ley line This might be the turn where I have to lay a line before they just like entomb me. I 
Yeah, I think I am going to do that. If they double days this, I am perfectly happy with that. No, they do not double days. I swear if this is, if this means they then get to, I guess if they hard cast a grief, they're just dead in the air. So at this, at, at this point, it now actually doesn't even matter. I go to four. I guess it could be a Merktide region. That's what it is. It's a Merktide region. So they're going to, yeah, okay. If I draw a Wisp, they're dead. Another Vial. My deck really could not be giving me worse draws right now, but at least we're not dead. Um, but now we have to go back to not attacking. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I think I'm actually supposed to keep them off of Hardcast Grief. Should have done that on my turn, but... Literally any creature. It doesn't do nothing, but oh my god. Ponder resolves. Um, worth noting that we don't currently have an answer to Null Rod in the deck anymore. Um, we might want to keep in a Skyclave or something because of that. I guess we got it back up. Oh, thank you. Oh, I got it. Okay. They are definitely not reanimating anything. Yeah, surprise, Katie. Bowmasters. I'm dead. Holy shit. Literally like eight dead draw steps in a row. That was unbelievable. And we had to get to, yeah, Jesus. That was unbelievable. My favorite drink. deck. Please pick it up. That was embarrassing. Uh, Cauldron the opener is awkward, but we can keep it. Smelling like an ancient tomb? 
or a chalice. Uh, yeah, yeah, they already played it. Smell like a chalice. So no more mother of runes for us. That's okay. Yuck. It's that kind of ancient tomb chalice deck. Let's, oh, right. Their needle's getting countered anyway. Never mind. I was like, oh, let's not get our fetch needles, but then it didn't matter. Uh, yeah, we are going to surveil here. I haven't played against eight cast in forever. No, we don't need another land here. They see a wasteland. Okay. So we got an answer for Urza Saga. That's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Solitude right now. Get that, get that patchy boy out of there before anything bad happens. Okay, they have a Force. Force Pitch Cryptic Coat. All right. Well, I'm glad I don't have to deal with a Cryptic Coat. Um, also, next turn, we potentially get to just flicker their chalice, put it on zero. And uh, obviously, the patchwork will get bigger, but it's basically d discard a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Which is not quite the same. Um, yeah, they've seen this wasteland, so I'll play that. I think I, I am going to do that. I am going to flicker their chalice. Um, I might chump here. We'll see. If this is a Kappa, I am definitely chumping. Yep, it's a Kappa. Yep, so I'll trump this, uh, and then Okay, cool. So I think the plan here is recruit for solitude, chump again, and then we actually have a, we get to sort of choose. And the next time we either get to solitude or we can potentially Skyclave paying for a ward on the patchwork. Um, it'll depend on which one is bigger. And the patchwork might actually be bigger because the Kappa only gets counters when stuff enters play, which is gonna be harder with the Chalice on zero. So yeah, we'll start with this Recruiter. And Recruiter is definitely getting a Solitude because I don't have seven mana to cast Lauren and pay for ward. That is a nightmare. <laughs> that I don't think there was a better draw for them. Um, Yeah, because now we can't really even chump.
Yeah, we just have to take that, go to one. So I think our only shot now, I think we have to actually, do we even have anything or are we just dead? Cause we can, we can kill the patchwork, but the shadow spear makes the cap up blocking. Yeah. The shadow spear just makes blocking not matter and we can't cast two answers. So yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, Shadow Spear is like the one card flickering that chalice unlocked, and they they drew it because I cannot get a break tonight apparently. Um, bringing in all these at least, um, potentially rest in peace or cage. Um. Let's see what we got. Uh, definitely cut Thalia's and Chite. I guess that's it. Or I guess we probably, we might want Teague's. Um, Cause these mother of runes are not good. So we can probably bring in moms and then we'll bring in cage. Cage is better than rip because the only reason we even play this is because of um, because of Emery. Um, obviously we have Caracas for Emery, but eight cast really makes it so that you never have extra mana to do anything ever. <laughs> so having cage to just pay the one mana once can be nice. And playing that over rest in peace means that we can still Scarab Swarm. And I think we will go with that. Shovel infinite tokens into your deck. Yeah. That's why you got to put the infinite tokens in different sleeves. Let's not think too hard about, about dry erase about dry erase services being in sleeves. This hand has a lot of what I want, but it is kind of clunky. Um, and the annoying thing is that it... I feel like we might just have to go Thoughtseize on turn one. No, I think we have to. I, I think I think we will keep it and we will play a vial and be sad if they. I, I think the. The um. I don't even know what words I'm saying. Um, getting ahead on the man on the vial, I think, is probably just too important. And it'll suck if they cast a turn one patchwork. They literally always do against me. There we go. This, this all this all seems about right. Okay, another thought another solitude isn't too bad. Let's see what they got going on over there. Oh God. Um, if we take this dismember, Teague is looking quite strong here um, with the caveat being that it means that we're either pitching Solitude or a Lauren to this Solitude that we absolutely have to hit, absolutely have to um, kill this Emery this turn. And that basically means we have to take one of the blue cards. 
And I think with the Vile already in play, we just have to live with them having Force in their hand in the long term. Um, how soon can they cast this Thought Cast? Um, they can draw. They can cast Thought Cast next turn if they draw any zero mana artifacts. Yeah, so we're taking the Thought Cast. We're going to go ahead and pitch the Teague, kill the Emery, and then move on with our lives. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. To, yeah, never mind. They they told totally I could cast it anyway. I'm a doofus. <sighs> Another thoughtsies, huh? Um. Yeah. I think that's better than casting the vial, honestly. Uh, dismember ancient. Okay, I'll take this member. Please just give me another land so that I can vial in my Lauren and pay for ward. <laughs> Please. If it's a Caracas, even better. Well. Ooh, they didn't attack. Thank goodness. Okay. Um... I will cast another Aether Vial, and it is absolutely illegal to let them activate this Saga even once. Gross. I feel like every time every time anybody iterates on eight cast, it just becomes another it it, it becomes even more true that neither blocking nor removal matters. <laughs> and it's very annoying. So that's, this is obviously ticking up. I think this also has to tick up. I My deck is just giving me multiples of the cards I don't need. Um, yeah. Pass. I may use Lauren on my end step. Um, I think it is entirely possible they block, depending on what it is. Okay, they were never blocking. Yeah, and the way to win a game, the only way we ever win a game like this is likely going to involve Lauren getting used like 7,000 times. Um, and the risk of that not happening because they block, I think, is just not worth it. So they can cast... One, two, three, yeah, they can cast Thought Monitor. If they take a turn off of attacking. And they do.
Um, yeah, I think I probably was supposed to lure in there. I mean, again, if I'm getting there, it's going to be like this, basically. Um, yeah, we just pass. We're going to have to, we're, we'll solitude the patchwork eventually. Um, they can attack us down to two, but then we start getting to gain life attacking back. Um, that's true. Yeah, if I drew if I drew a scarab swarm, that would have been a good reason to good reason to activate the Lauren then. Yeah. Gross. Is that a lotus petal? Yeah, that's fine. Um. Oh yeah, I got right because cryptic coat they can't actually move over. Yeah. No, I, I am supposed to just use the solitude now. So they'll gain. They'll have one more life than they're supposed to. They overpaid on the cryptic coat. That might end up mattering here. Ouch. Yeah, we absolutely have to activate Lauren here. Possibly we were supposed to before, actually, in case we drew, draw like Bowmasters off of this. Recruiter, okay. Okay. So we can recruit for a card that we don't care about. Put Yoran into our hands. Oh no, they have the Force of Will. So we so we have to play around the Force of Will. Um, Yeah, they might not have another blue card, and I think if they do, we just have to live with it, yeah. Um, so I am just going to get, what's a card I don't want to draw here? Um, I think Teague is actually probably the worst card in our deck right now. 
the worst white card in their deck, obviously. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, they do have a blue card. Force pitches force. Okay. That resolves. Activate Vile. Um, Lauren is going to... So... Okay, let's start with the fact that the Solitude pretty much has to hit Emery. Because um, otherwise... Yeah, I think it's Solitude, Emery... Lauren the Coat. What is the... So they can attack with all four... So if they attack with all four of these... We only have one blocker in the air, but we would put Yorian on Thought Monitor, probably Recruiter on Patchwork, maybe like Solitude on the, on whatever the cloaked creature is, or something like that. Emery and coat, and then recruit for another solitude. And then we have six, and we see what happens. Um, oh, yeah, Wisp. Yeah, Wisp probably was better, actually. I guess the, pro the problem with Wisp is that like this, this solitude is definitely dying in combat, and I think we need to account for the fact that like we need to figure out how we're gaining life, and we don't really have a way. Like, we can't really be, um, like, looping our board, really. Uh, we want to do this. Because we're not going to be in a situation where we can afford to not have blockers in play. Yeah, so I think this is it. This will, this will put us to five. Yeah, okay. We lived. Then we draw a Swords to Plowshares. That's something. Um, so we can just Swords, Patchwork, and their upkeep, I guess, in case they have another Force of Will. Um, I guess maybe that's bad. That might, I guess that that might just be too weak, actually, because then we can't kill the patchwork with solitude through force. Um, And we have to account for like what card would they not be casting here other than Force of Will. Um, yeah, I think I think their last card is 
It doesn't have to be force of will. I'm having a hard time figuring out what else it could possibly be. Uh, D and T uh, were. It's not going great. Uh, it, the The deck has not been cooperating in the previous matches, but it looks like we are fine. We might be getting our first game, uh, first game win of the night. We're getting there. Now what do they have in hand? <laughs> um, I'm wondering if this is... It definitely feels a little bit safer to Thoughtseize. Um, now that I'm at five, I'll probably be going up to six here. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. No, it's just lands. Okay, got it. Yep, that's fine. They are dead next turn either way. All right, we're on the board. hands got it got it opponents at least joining me going to six um i really don't like solitude as my only white card but i think we keep this especially opponent mulling to five um all fetches uh i'll put a vista back Definitely. I think like it's it's I think it's worth mentioning that like the black splash I think helps fix that a little bit. You know, I, I think just like primarily based on the power of discard spells, um I think that okay. Um more so than ever, I think DNT kind of has the tools to win almost any matchup, but certainly I think game to game, the losses can suck. I am very happy to get a cryptic code out of there. Uh, they see the Arid Mesa, sure. Um, yeah, like game, game to game, certainly the the like 
cards you draw are going to dictate a lot about how the game goes but i think like holistically we have a lot of good tools now discard spells are pretty good okay please give me a caracas or something i will pitch i will solitude pitch solitude if i have to but please don't make me okay you have made me It's going to deal me 11,000 damage. No, I already have the first. <laughs> oh my god, deck. Uh... I don't think that you are crazy. Um, I chose not to um, mostly because I think that like that like I don't think that I'm gonna be able to keep them from drawing out of that anyway. So I would rather get to the point where my hand actually does anything and that I can like actually cast my spells faster. Um, have to kill the saga because if, if they have, um, you, you could go after the seat, but if they, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If they just find an ancient tomb or one of their many lotus petals or mox opals, then it feels horrible. There we go. That an ancient tomb in hand. <laughs> um, all right, we have to not die to this thought monitor, and we are desperately trying to figure out how that's going to happen. Um, I guess we'll just have to cast the Yorion next turn. Hopefully they don't have Force of Will. But oh my god. Please no more lands. I would normally fetch to keep the land, to try to like try to get lands out of my deck, but now I'm starting to get a little bit worried about like just dying. Oh my god. This is what my deck has been doing to me today, for the record. Okay, it's fine if you have Force of Will, as long as I get to draw a card that does anything. Okay. Alright. Deal. Dismember, stop. Okay. Somewhat back in business. Okay, we have a lot of choices here. Um, we can cast a Stoneforge right now. We can cast a Lauren right now. We could get a Solitude. We could get a Wisp. We could get a Scarab Swarm for next turn. I think of those I like Lauren the most. Although I don't hate Wisp Recruiter for Swarm either. Yeah, okay, that's what we'll do. We'll do that, we'll do that. 
please don't have force of will they thought on the recruiter so i have a feeling they might have a force um and just chose to wait to use it on the card that I got with Recruiter, but we'll see. That's honestly another reason to maybe go for a Wisp because it's like the least valuable card. Yeah, Swarm. By least valuable, I mean like it is, of the cards we named, one of the less impressive to top deck. We would currently get nine tokens off of their graveyard. <laughs> Uh, here, oh god, all right. Well, this changes things. I hate this stupid card. Well, there is nothing to do but hope that they do not have or draw an artifact. I feel like they have one or they would have cracked this Mishra's Bobble. Or maybe they just goofed. Oh, right, it was tapped. That's what I forgot. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We finally had enough instances where I needed something bad to not happen multiple times in a game, and we got there. Mm. Hydrate. I already had the other beverage, but it's not very hydrating. It's very rich. Okay, let's see if we get uh see if we get salted out of this one. For those unaware, Matthias Hardstyle is an infamous salter literally every game every match i have ever played against them uh this hand is pretty awkward but i think i will keep it because aether vial is broken and they are also mulling to six marsh flats yeah, I'm going to get clap clapped real good. Dark Ritual, okay. Okay, okay, Thoughtseize. What's going on? What's going on? Are we getting... Is this just, just Reanimator? <laughs> no. Wow, that's so much worse. <laughs> 
All right, Cauldra, I really didn't need you there, but okay. Uh, get a planes in case. Uh, in case they're a wasteland deck, we'll see. Where is my pre-war formal wear? It would be so good here. Um, that I am very suspicious that they are going to be a reanimate deck. So I'm going to get a sash here. You did call it. You're so smart. Oh, God. Uh, pitched opposition agent. Okay. I think it's mono. I think it's mono black or black white or something like that. They k let me keep my cauldra. Wild. All right. Uh, back street. Yeah, I'll keep swords on top. That's easy. Yeah, we know that they're not on blue because they played a Marsh Flats. So, also they played a Dark Ritual. There's that reanimate. They take the Recruiter. Sure, okay. Hello? Okay. Magic online, can I can I cast my cards please? Or attack with them? I do not know what happened there. <laughs> okay. It's fine. They can't attack either. We're just trading it back. Okay, there we go. They should be dead, but it's okay. Sure. Weird block. Eh, okay. All right, I will bring in Graf Digger's Cage, Containment Priest, Rest in Peace, and the Battles. I don't think that this is going to be a Lauren matchup. So I'll just cut all those, and I think we'll call it there. Um, I think GTA is better against a deck like this. Not by a ton. Or better, better, um, better against a deck like this than it is like the blue black versions um yeah oh <sighs> um i don't want to bring in leyline because they have reanimates but they're not they're playing much more like a mono black version of like the blue black scam from like a few months ago that's not playing like in tombs and stuff like that and i didn't bring in ley lines against them so i think this deck is a lot more likely to just like cast a void walker dark ritual out an opposition agent that kind of thing
So having your cards all play to the board better, I think, matters a lot. I have, but yeah, I have no idea what we would cut for a second, um, a second formal wear. But I would totally believe that it's gonna end up being right. There we go. pretty good he's mulling to six too dark ritual again uh-huh another dark ritual this is like grief thoughtsies something like that Just grief. Okay. We're doing all right. Oh, they have white. Interesting. Torak. Interesting. 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 Really makes you think. Um, I think I'm just bouncing this Torok end step, so I will play my Surveil land now so that I get the value out of it. Um, this is not like a rest in peace game. Um, oh yeah, I should have actually considered casting the yeah casting a Stone Force there. You're you're right. You're right. Because it helps that now they have to have Dark Ritual Opposition Agent. But yeah. Cool. Easy. Never didn't have it. Sure. I won't even float the mana. Oh wow, this is messed up. Um so I'll have to do this. Hopefully they don't get rid of my cauldra. Uh okay. Keeping my stone forge is pretty much just as good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get batter skull actually. I think batter skull and GTA are pretty similar, pretty similarly unbeatable. What do you know? Hold up, hold up, uh, hold up. Oh my god, there we go. There's the clap class. Oh, one message, I think, is... Oh yeah, I can just drag it on the screen, can I? I've never, uh... Never done that. I don't know how Magic Online works. Anyway, there they are. literally cannot finish a match without complaining.
doesn't matter what the nice top deck was. He's. Th I don't know whether it's his guy. It probably is. They say it no matter what happens. They literally always say nice top deck. Sands all right. Can work with this. I think it's fine to like joke around with people, you know, who who know who you are and you have a rapport with, but don't do it online. <laughs> Unless you know them really well, because otherwise, the, like, let's put it this way: if they've been joking about it this whole time, it sure it certainly hasn't come off that way. Playing against painter, huh? Well, Wastelands? Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Now that, yeah, now that was a nice top deck. Wow, they're going right for it. All right. There is the option of making them spend the mana to go for it, but if they don't do that and I have to hold up that white mana for the rest of the game. Uh, or if they have a Pyroblast, then I just lose. Another Jeepers. Okay. Uh, we need. Yeah, this is a hell of a hell of a sequence for them. Oh, wasteland. Well, ugh. Now I wish I had a. A wish I got a scrubland off of this because, then I could thoughtsies and waste. But now we just have to, waste and then hope they don't have another soul land. I'll keep white mana up here in case it makes them not go for it. That seems unlikely, but there's a, there's a chance. Engineer, okay. Okay, they are a cauldron deck. That part I didn't expect. Because cauldron usually doesn't also play painter, because that just takes up too many slots. Presenting it, they're giving me the turn. No, they're not. Okay. Just kidding. Alright, we 
don't have a lot for this matchup, unfortunately. Um, we have Lauren. I mean, I have containment priest, and I guess we probably want a rest in peace since we saw the uh, since we saw the devourer, and they're probably playing cauldron. Um, I feel like I probably want therapy over at least the Thalia and maybe something else. I'm not sure what the something else would be. Maybe it's just the one therapy to cut all the Thalias. Bowmaster certainly isn't that great to hear either. Actually, I'll, I'll shave the Bowmasters for the second therapy. We got Vile, we got Skyclave, we got Wisp, we got Sash in case they're a cauldron draw. This looks this looks good to me. Man, I wonder how different that game would have been if we were on the play. Not to be clear, not in like a complaining kind of way, just like I think that game looks so different if you just swap swap who wins that die roll um i don't know i don't i don't like to predict banner restricted announcements I, I i will say i would be happy if it was gone i don't think that grief leads to good games do i think it will be bans I, I don't know i just don't i don't like making those kind of predictions personally I am guessing they'll pro they'll probably never run Vance Winter Twin. I'll say that much. Um, oh yeah, we probably did. It's funny. I I have somehow literally never been in a situation where I could waste a saga on the stack. That that was legitimately the first time ever. Yeah, the, the them going for engineer kind of works out for us in the end, but yeah, I I was definitely supposed to waste that in response in this response to the trigger. Not afraid of mom? No, they are afraid of mom. Uh, so I think I'm just playing lands, wasting saga, right? That's it. Containment Priest will not be entering play until a Fable Chapter 3 is about to flip. Green. I guess they boarded up the Pyroblast, maybe. I think that makes I think that makes sense honestly. Um and if I
Yeah, what does this Devourer even do if it's in play? It basically does nothing, right? So... Like, good on them if they use Welder to save it. Yeah, cool. Another saga, okay. Fable, okay. All right, uh, make Sash bigger. I'm using one of these. I think I'm probably just wisping the shaman token. I think that's where my head is at. Puts a lot of power in play. Another Mother of Runes. Um, so now we can... We could Skyclave the Fable, but then we're just dead to Grindstone, and I don't think that that's worth it. So I'm just going to hold this file up. Exile Painter before they discard. Yeah, right, yeah, we have we have both Sash and Priest to make that not really a problem. Welder and another painter. Okay. I wonder if it was right to maybe cast Mom here. I guess, importantly, the fact that we didn't means that we didn't have to worry about uh, another Fable. Okay. It's not like they have only colorless mana up. What one card could they have? I don't think there is one, but I'm gonna go ahead and Skyclave the Painter right now just to be safe.
Cool. I'll just to be safe. Uh, maybe there's a fury over there. A normal fury. It's a pyroblast. But okay, naming green was just a mistake. Got it. I'm supposed to bring this cage in, maybe. I don't know if I just like forgot it was there or not. But I think I'd rather have cage than a bowmaster's for the most part. I think you'd sooner have one ley line. Interesting. Yeah, no, I can no, actually thinking about it, yeah, that makes sense to me. Only stopping creatures probably just isn't enough against them. true it doesn't turn off cauldron forgot about that forgot because they haven't showed us but they they have de facto showed us with the uh or shown shown us with the um with the dreadnought but we haven't we haven't literally seen the cauldron yet Don't love the swamp in this hand. I think everything else this has going on is good enough, though. Mom into Stone Forge just covers a lot of bases. Interesting. Interesting. Damn it, Moto. <laughs> I literally was trying to stop passing priority so much so that I could just like put a 3-2 into play and start attacking right now. But I guess we'll have to wait one more turn. Skycliff. Gross. going to scare them with this stone forge all day. Just don't fury me. Wait, it doesn't matter if they fury me, of course. That part's less cool.
for the first time ever, I guess I don't want to say ever, but for one of the first times ever, deck, please give me Cauldra. I'll actually take Cauldra next turn, preferably, because I'm going to be casting the Containment Priest first. Yeah, notably, we have uh, zero answers in our 95 to this card being in play right now. And that is somewhat intentional. Uh, we were not supposed to do it because they did not. Uh, they once again did not name blue, so their pyroblasts are still dead. Pitch, they pitch the mountain. Okay. All right. So we do need to draw swords or wastelands, or we're just dead on board. gonna make him think that I'm really smart. Yeah, that's crazy. They got grindstone. All right, so opponent would be at four if we actually got to put our uh, um, put our solitude into play on the first turn. So we definitely would not have gotten there. Still, oh well. That one was at least close. A lot closer than the first two we played. First two were, first two were nightmares. <laughs> um. Well, that is pretty much going to do it for us tonight. Um.
finally had a um a situation where I definitively 1000% would have gotten pre-war formal wear out of my deck if I could with a stone forge, but I couldn't. I think I've definitely had uh, some spots I think where it was like a decent option. I definitely today ran into one where it was objectively the correct decision. <laughs> um so that's fun. Um but that's going to be it for me tonight. Taking a quick look to see if anybody else is playing Legacy. It's been tough to find people lately. Usually playing other formats. So there's a stream that says they're playing Orzhov Death and Taxes, but they are playing on Arena. So I'm a little bit skeptical about that one. Uh, I'm guessing I would have lost zero to Sloth. I don't want to say for sure, but, you know. I can't say that I am particularly afraid of that card. Yeah, timeless probably makes sense, but I'm not going to look. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call it. Thank you all. Thank you. Bleh. What word was I saying? Thank you, everybody, as always, for sticking around, watching me play some Death and Taxes. I'll be back on Thursday at 9. Um, and got some ideas that maybe try out next stream. Again, not totally sure, but hey, if I am, you'll see them. They'll be, they'll be in the list. They'll be posted on Twitter. Um, but, uh, I am going to call it, I'm going to get to bed. Uh, thank you everybody. And I will see you next time. Oh, uh, I should go to my outro screen. Hey, if you, uh, don't know where I am on other platforms, Hey, here are all the links. Um, follow me on Twitter, check out my Patreon. You're already on Twitch and, uh, YouTube is where all the VODs go. If you missed any of this video and, or any of this stream and want to check it out later. So. So yeah, thank you as always, and I will catch you all next time.